What's up guys, this is Shukesh once again and well I just got a new notification from Apple. It's about the iOS 9.1 update and this is basically the third update since iOS 9 came out. Well I'll do the update right now and talk about different facts you should be aware of before you update your iPhones. I have the iPhone 6s plus with me and as you know you can update your iPhones by visiting the general settings and software update. Now there is a very serious issue that has been reported regarding this update. If you decide to apply the update automatically overnight by choosing later, then the alarms in your phone might not go off in the morning and you have a very good chance of missing your flight, train or school. So do the update while you are awake or risk sleeping through your alarms. Now let's talk about the changes Apple has brought with this 9.1 update. We love the live photo feature and it's now getting smarter. It will sense when you raise or lower your iPhone so that live photos will automatically not record these movements. So the camera will now stick to only the subject, skip the part when you lower your iPhone after the click. I'll check this out again after the update and talk more about this. This update also introduces a range of new emoji icons like taco, burrito, cheese wedge, middle finger, champagne bottle, unicorn head and more. Total of 150 characters actually with full support for Unicode 7.0 and 8.0 emojis. The multitasking UI lag which is a terrible issue has been fixed. Well there are a couple of other bugs Apple has addressed here and resolved. This includes calendar becoming unresponsive, game center not launching, content zoomed in some applications, incorrect unread mail count, problems removing recent contacts and some messages not appearing in the mail search results etc etc. Well, there are a couple of other bugs that has not been addressed here. For example, sometimes I get stuck here, that is in this search page. Swiping doesn't work at all and this is just terrible. Another bug I experienced just yesterday is the new haptic engine stopped working and I had to actually restart the phone. I hope that Apple has fixed this as well. Now let's get started with this update and I'll talk more about this iOS 9.1 update later on in this video so be with me guys. The size of this update is 313 MB and not to mention I have the Indian retail unit of the iPhone 6s plus. I'll get back to you once I go through this. Guys the update is done and I haven't faced any issue while updating. There are reports that users are facing issues while updating but I haven't faced any. Everything is working just fine but I have come across a serious bug. The control center is not coming up almost once in 4 or 5 tries. This is just pathetic and please comment below if you are facing this type of issues. Apart from this everything is just fine. I can't say whether the phone has become smoother or all the bugs has been fixed unless I use it for a while. But I can of course check the live photo upgrade. Let's see what happens. Well as you can see guys the vertical movements has not been recorded. Unnecessary parts has been clipped so really nice job Apple. There is another new settings option you will find in your iOS 9.1 device. In the messaging settings. There is a new option to show photos of your contacts in the messages list. As you can see here. Let me also give you a glimpse of the new emoji characters. Well I also want to mention here the iOS 9.1 includes compatibility updates for upcoming Apple products like the 4th generation Apple TV and iPad Pro. Following the release of iOS 9.1, Apple is no longer signing iOS 9.0.2. That means the users are no longer able to downgrade from iOS 9.1 to iOS 9.0.2. So if you are planning to jailbreak your iPhones, then refrain from this update right now. In addition to this, I also want to mention here, I heard that this iOS update is actually draining batteries faster than usual. I'll definitely look into this and comment below. You can also comment here to share your experience with the new upgrade. Well that's all I have for you in this video thanks a lot for watching. Do check my channel for more interesting videos on this iPhone 6s plus and also please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching keep in touch and have a nice day guys.